think that your uh, like comics is like is it almost like a sport where it's like you know uh, if you were to drop some modern day NBA players into you know the 1950s NBA it would mm. be like a, a bloodbath you know do you do you do you think that you're actually while still being like respectful of the oh the, I see the what you're legends saying. like. I think a lot of when sometimes when I see old comedy, I'm kind of like, wow, this sure, this sure. wasn't that creative or that witty or whatever. It was like yeah. basic or. I know. think for sure, yeah, and like, like, look at go back to Sam. The guys put out, I don't know, six, seven, five, six, seven hours. He had that rooftop thing, yeah. and then he had a YouTube. Yeah. Now he has a Netflix, yeah. and it's like this is a lot of comedy. And Richard Pryor has what four, like his whole career, four right? specials, yeah. maybe five. Yeah. yeah, so like, and Sam's. 35 or 36 so he's got a whole life ahead of him and he's gonna right. put more out so i think just the volume is crazy right way more and we're tweeting and we're putting clips and yeah, we're promoting I mean, you, and it's, it's a nightmare podcasting you're probably able to just think of like a handful of jokes and live on that for a fucking yes, year yes. now it's like that gets me through a day on twitter exactly while I'm writing the other jokes over here and i'll tell you, you wake up and you're like uh, somebody said it was like an IV drip. You just got to keep that drip going or the thing dies. Yeah. And it's terrifying. Yeah. You're like, can I just... That's a horrible, horrible way to put it. Yeah. Horrible way Very to accurate, live. but Yeah, I, I get it, it. It's, but it's quite descriptive and uh, yeah. depressing. But you got to think of it, you know, <laughs> what else are you going to do? You know, you got to you got to make it work, you know? You, we're, we have a job and you want to sell tickets, so... But then there's guys like Mulaney and Bill Burr who are just so revered that I don't see Mulaney like putting clips up with a funny caption, you know? I, I try to, yeah, think, but it's like... So maybe there's a level you can get well, to. Well, uh, yes, yeah, for sure. It's like, I, it's like you know, the best of the best don't ever respond to a single troll. Yeah, yeah. They don't, they don't, they don't yeah. waste their time doing any of this shit. Yeah. And, but also there are some times where I'm like, I don't fucking care, I want to do it. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. It's and a like, because I think that keeps a little bit of... I do think mystique. that... Mystique. And also, like, I, you know, if, if relatability is your thing, at least... Yeah. You're not going to be that relatable, relatable anymore if you're not doing any of the stuff that regular society does. If you Agreed. become a fucking arena uh, theater type act, it's like that's what your material is going to be. Yeah. You're not on the internet. You don't deal with any of the shit that you know, the commoners are. Sure, but sure. But also, fuck them. You know? like, yeah. <laughs> if I could be that, I'd do it in a heartbeat. But it yeah. is going to be you know, your comedy has to change. Uh, do you think you have a, a comedy prime because of that? Yeah, I think you do. Like You can't, you I think can't every possibly be like your best... Your best work when you're like rich and 55, right? It's probably be not. A little more when I you're grinding and yeah, the hunger yeah. put pulls something out of you yeah. that it goes away when you're when you got your feet up on a jet. Right, right. I think Chris Rock talked about that where he's like, I just I don't have anything anymore because I right. I fly private and yeah, like, I, don't, I don't see funny things happen in the airport. I don't have a yeah, fucking right. a bad Uber driver. I don't have a yeah the, uh, a moving experience. I, I always think about the, the joke on Thirty Rock with Tracy Jordan where he's like. I like think Jack Donaghy's telling him, like, he's like, you know, you're you're kind of losing your comedy a little bit. And then it cuts to him at a club going, like, you know how in St. Barth people be eating lobster <laughs> like this? <laughs> and it's like, yeah, all right. It's yeah. Like, like, yeah, what, what can you with, make fun of? And that's what you do. You know, right. ra rappers go through that. Like, you know, people talk about Jay-Z's right. lyrics. Into, and fighters definitely go through it. You know? Oh, my McGregor, God. McGregor, as soon as McGregor was rich, he, you know, lost it because you just can't replicate especially in fighting yeah it's like that guy is fighting for a paycheck you're fighting for what you know yeah because i think we all have something in us you guys have a talent i have a talent i mean this guy might be useless <laughs> but i think you need to pull it out of you and it's hard to get it out of you and i think you need to be poor or struggle or have like some goal in mind but when you already get to the goal you get to that mountaintop it's hard to yeah get to the next one i recently bought a house and I know I want to protect my loved ones and I want to make sure none of my stuff gets damaged or stolen. But the real reason why I want Simply Safe is because I don't want to end up on the news as the idiot who bought a house and didn't have an alarm system. So get Simply Safe today, whether it's because you want to protect your loved ones or your money, or you just don't want to be an idiot with a house that doesn't have an alarm system. Click the link below, start Simply Safe, and don't end up on the news like a moron. And then I think once you get to that goal, you feel so guilty about getting to the goal that you make the. The, the struggle yeah. sound a lot worse. Oh, yeah. People, right. people love being like, oh, it was fucking crazy back in the day. Like, I don't know. It was mildly uncomfortable. It was, <laughs> yeah. I mean, it was, it was like yeah. a, a little bit more time consuming than yeah. it is now. That's about it. But yeah. there are tortured people like a, like a Dave Attell who's brilliant ah. and still just as funny as he ever was because he's so fucked up. Yeah, yeah. I hope he never hears this, but he's such a, a <laughs> I mental... Can, I can assure you Dave Attell's not listening to this. Okay. <laughs> but he, he's such like a low self-esteem kind of guy that he just can't ever get to the mountaintop. What, what, what is like when everybody everybody loves to tell comics comic yeah. he, he's the holy grail he's the funniest why does that not is it that he like doesn't 
do the the big no, theaters. Like, no, he, he it, just, That's not it. He could do all that. He's just... That's what I mean, though. He could, but he just chooses not to? Yeah, but that's not what makes him great. What makes him great is the fact that he's just as sharp. You hang out with him, and he's funny. You watch him on stage, and he's funny. You put him on a podcast, and he's funny. And he always has new shit. He's always writing, and everything he writes is better than everybody else's. And he's at the cellar. He'll be at the cellar yeah, in but, four hours. But why is that? Why is what? Like, he, he just, like... He's hey, got to do it. It's in him. Rather than, uh, like, I'll, instead of doing the cellar, why don't I just do, like, this theater or this arena? Because he's, he's, like, it's a blue-collar state of mind, and yeah. he's stuck in this arrested development of, like, this is who I am, this is the level I'm at, and this is where I'll stay. <sighs> he's stuck there. Crazy. It's like, you can just do these same jokes for a lot more money. <laughs> I know, I know. And he could, he could do special after special, but he's like, no, I suck. I'm a hack. Nobody wants to hear this. We're like, we're dying to hear it. Come yeah. on, Dave. You're going to so die one day. he actually says that like, he, he has that self Oh, now. yeah. Oh, even, yeah. Uh, even with all you guys sucking his dick. He hates, <laughs> he this, still he hates the sucking dick. Yeah. <laughs> and like, it's like a supermodel. You know, you see this <laughs> beautiful dick. woman who's like, you know, a 10 yeah. with a perfect body. She's like, I'm oh, fat I got, here. Yeah, I right, look at my right. chin. And you're like, yeah. you're gorgeous. She's, she just can't see it. He's the same way. Well, that's why I think everybody has to struggle and everybody should get to complain. Everyone, yeah, yeah, yes. Up, kind of bring a full circle. Try right? and get by this morphia, too. Here, here. Yeah. 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 I'm going to complain that's about. I'm complaining about people who have depression. How about me? <laughs> I'm, I'm sick of hearing about it. 